Okay, so in this latest series of editing videos, what I want to do is show you the work that's gone into some of the pictures that I took recently of a band called the Debonairs. Now, the picture that you see in front of you is the picture that was taken straight out of camera. And what we ended up with was this picture here. So immediately when we look between the two, we can see there's quite a lot of work that's gone into them. And the first bit of work we need to do is removing all this cluster of uh, stuff that's in the sky and this back of a car here. Now the reason all this is here in the first place is when we were shooting we were extremely tight on space so this was actually the best area that I could find where we had at least some sky without too many cranes in it. So what I want to do is just quickly show you how we can remove very quickly all this sort of junk if you like that's around the guys that we've mainly been photographing. So, first of all, as in all the editing that we do, we want to protect the main picture. So we're going to come over to our layers panel, we're going to click on the background layer and drag it to the new layer icon so that we get a duplicated copy. That way, if we're making the mistakes, we're not going to be tied in and we're actually going to keep the main picture nice and safe. Now, one of my tools that I like to use when I'm um, now removing objects in a picture is the polygonal or polygonal um, selection. Uh, tool and that's found over in our toolbar on the left hand side and it's the third one down we click here and we can see polygonal or polygonal however you want to pronounce it lasso tool now one thing I will say is I'm using CS5 as you can probably tell but all the editing that we're going to do in this series all of it can be done in CS4, CS3, CS2 you name it but the good thing about CS5 is that what we can do now is a heck of a lot quicker so your editing and your workflow time is going to reduce massively so let's just have a quick work through then show you how we can remove some of these items. If we work over here first of all. Now look at what we're going to do. You can use our polygonal or polygonal lasso tool and all I tend to do is just make a selection as close as I possibly can to the object that I'm looking to remove. So all I'm doing now is just tapping away making very very close selection and you can use any tool that you want to to make these selections but I just find that I really have taken to using the polygonal lasso, lasso tool. Lasso tool. Okay, so we've got our selection here. Now, to use something in CS5, we're going to use something called Content Aware Fill. So to get that, we hold down our Shift key and press Backspace, and we get this dialog box come up here. And we have some options where it says Use, and the one we want to click on is Content Aware. And when we click on that, click OK, and then we can go straight away. We can see that that's moved it very, very quickly and very effectively. The next one we're going to do is this one just here. Again, we're just making a nice quick selection around the objects. We come right down to his head and up there. So you can see that you can work really, really quickly. Like I said, all this sort of stuff could be done before, but with CS5, it is a heck of a lot quicker. So back, shift and backspace brings up the dialog box again. We're going to use content aware and click OK. And we can see straight away it makes a really nice job of removing that. OK, we're almost done. We've got this big area here which I want to show you doing. Uh, this one again, we're going to make a nice quick selection. Really, really simple. We can see we just come right down, right close to the top of Dave's shoulder here. Come nice and tight up to the top so we get our selection. Shift back to bring up the fill dialog box. Make sure we're using content aware and click OK. And that one's done. Now, this one here is maybe a little bit more tricky, or so you would think, using content aware. And there's probably something going to happen, which, which will happen in a moment. And that's a little tip I'm going to be able to give you when you're using content aware fill. Now, like we've just done with all the other removals, all we're going to do is make work our way around the object nice and tight, however you want to go, just clicking, making the selections all the way around like so. Now as you can see, the amount we've got to do here, it will take me a good couple of minutes or so. And what I don't want to do is waste any of the video time. So all I'm going to do is I did that selection earlier on. So I'm going to come up to the top of the screen, choose select, and I'm going to load that selection in. I called it crane, so there you go. So as you can see, we've got the marching ants just surrounding the area of this back of the car and this pole and this crane here. So there you go. Right, so how do we remove it? Again, just as always, shift backspace to bring up the content aware fill dialog box, and we're going to click OK. Now, we're going to see what result is going to come up. It might not work first time, but that's the good thing about content aware fill. We can try it again and again, and each time it's going to give us different results. So we click OK. Let's just see what this does for us. Takes a little time to process, and there you go. Straight away, we can see that has done a pretty good job of removing that object. 
So there you go. So there is no reason for us to go back and do that anymore. I'm actually really quite happy with that. But that's just one tip that I want to give you there. When you're using Content Aware Fill, if you don't get the results that you want, you can just redo it and just keep redoing it and redoing it and redoing it until you do get the desired effect. And there you go. That's my little tip on using Content Aware Fill. So tune in next time when we're going to do some dodging and burning. And I'm going to show you how we bring out some detail in the car as well. And then we'll finish off by adding some contrast to the sky. So I hope that was useful. And I'll catch you in part two. Mm -hmm.